Hey there tubers, today's video is on the engine oil change on the CT5555 tractor. I've reached 200 hours on the tractor so I've decided to go ahead and change the engine oil for the first time. Now the manual says that you can do this at every 400 hours which to me seems a little long if I use the tractor all the time and it was constantly running yeah, 400 hours would be fine. It comes with synthetic oil and you know that that lasts a lot longer than conventional oil but uh, the color has started to change so I know it's getting a little dirty and uh, no more than I run this tractor I feel that 200 hours is is plenty and it, it doesn't hold that much oil so it, it's not like it's a price factor either but I had somebody comment on my 50 hour video that I'd done and the service manual at 50 hours says to change all the hydraulic oil and the hydrostat and the hydraulic oil filters but it doesn't say anything about changing the engine oil which I thought was strange but you know I try to stick to to what the owner's manual says for the most part and uh, somebody commented saying that they had spoken with their dealer and the dealer said no you need to absolutely change the engine oil at 50 hours well by the time that comment came through I'd already had 125 plus hours on this so I figured I'd just run it out to 200 hours but uh, when I went and got the filters I did ask the dealership their thoughts on it and they said yep we believe in doing the initial engine oil change at 50 hours even though it doesn't say it in the manual which I wish I'd known that before because I would have changed it at the time but with that thought I'm going to sample the engine oil have it sent in and analyzed just to see if there is excessive uh, metals or anything in the oil that would have warranted changing it at the 50 hour initially. So with that being said I'll crawl underneath here and I'll show you kind of what this pan setup is. Now it's kind of unique it's a uh, one pan but it's two sumps and that's so that they could put the four-wheel drive drive line right through the center of it which uh, is not a real big deal you know instead of pulling one plug you gotta pull two but it is gonna make it kind of tricky to uh, sample both sides in one sample uh, but I'll get it done and these are the 17 millimeter get those off. So I'm going to break those loose, try and get a sample, and then let it drain here. And then uh, we'll move back up and pull that filter off there. And then uh, put everything back together and fill it with oil. So I'll see you in a minute. Alright, so that didn't take too long. It uh, only holds 6.3 quarts, so not much more than my lawnmower. But uh, pulling that filter off was a bear. They uh, were a little overzealous at the factory and got that thing reefed on there pretty good. Of course, uh, there's a few things in the way, so you can't make a nice clean uh, drain of it. So there's a little cleanup involved. But the uh, filter number is a 7384298. And so what I'll do is I'll see, open it up here. And, uh, once again, one thing I do like is that they do the plastic cover over these just to keep uh, any chance of debris getting in there. But uh, I'll lube up this uh, gasket here and get it spun on and go from there. 
All right, so I've got that spun on there. What you do is you spin it on till initial contact, and then you uh, tighten it an additional half to three quarters of a turn. But don't go any more than that, or you end up with the problem that I had, not being able to get it back off. And the bolts down here get torqued to 25 foot-pounds. So I'll get this all cleaned up in here, and then the next thing is to go find a funnel that's going to fit in there, because that plug is what uh, comes out to fill this. And as you can see, we've got the hood, the fuel filter, and this fuel line right in the way. So I'm going to have to see what I have funnel-wise and uh, try and get something fished in there. All right, so that took uh, a lot longer than it should have, mainly due to the fact that uh, of all the funnels I've got, none of them fit in there properly. Uh, either this hood was in the way, or the angle wasn't right, or something. So consequently, I made a mess. Uh, I got it down the side of the engine and down the front of the engine, but uh, I'll get that cleaned up here uh, with the pressure washer and uh, we'll carry on. But uh, I wish they had put that in a different spot or done something different there. Another engineering marvel there. But uh, as for the 6.3 quarts that it says it holds, uh, that obviously does not include the filter. And it's a really small filter, and I put in almost 8 quarts. So I don't see that thing holding over a quart and a half, which it would to, to put in the, the amount I put in. So maybe it's just uh, my quarts were off a little bit, or uh, the manual isn't quite right. But anyway, what should have been a super simple job isn't quite as simple as, as I was hoping. So uh, I'm sure there's a filter out or a funnel out there that uh, would make this a piece of cake, but I didn't have it. All right, so here are the results from the oil analysis I sent in. I've been delaying uh, putting up this video until I got the results back so I could include them in it. Um, I was surprised to see that the copper, lead, tin, and silicone were so high. Um, silicone, not that big a deal to me, just knowing that uh, everything was put together. And anytime I change an oil pan gasket, my silicone levels go up in just about every engine that I do that on. So being that this is all new, that doesn't really concern me. But uh, the copper is insanely high. Uh, the lead is extremely high and the tin is quite high. So this uh, pretty much answers the question on whether you should be doing, doing the initial uh, engine oil change at 50 hours. And I would say absolutely you should be. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't do that. Um, I was following the owner's manual for the most part. And I really wish that the dealerships would be uh, telling people, hey, you need to do the engine oil at the 50 hour, uh, even though the manual doesn't say that. But uh, they didn't tell me that, so this is where I'm at. But uh, these guys, you know, they do oil analysis for a living, so they didn't seem too concerned on the uh, copper and tin and the silicone, but uh, they're a little concerned about the, the lead. Uh, so hopefully the next oil analysis I send in, these all come back down into the normal range and that it, it uh, isn't anything to really be worried about, but uh, time will tell on that. We'll have to wait till the next one to, to find out for sure. But uh, again, if you are able, 
do do the 50 hour engine oil initial draining with uh, your hydraulic system and try and avoid these high contaminants hopefully I haven't heard anything but uh, time will tell all right thanks guys so if you have any questions or comments leave them below otherwise I'll talk to you later bye bye